Well, look at what we have here, boys. A bunch of those nasty little ghouls thinking that they can take us Strogoth throne. Their king thinks he's so wonderful. And just the bigger ghouls think that they have any strength to compare with our trolls. But our rock trolls and our bell water trolls are ready to bring them justice. And of course the sneaky little gits decided to come along for the fun. Can't blame them, can you? For the glory of the bad moon and for the wonderful mushroom. Mini War Gaming, Speak Mac Parrot! Welcome to this episode of Beats Matt Bat Rep. I've got whew, Doug here from Toronto. Hey, hey. Ready to play with some Flesh Eater Quartz versus some Gloom Spike Gets. This is 2,000 points pitch battle. As you can see, I got a lot of the new Trogoths and I'm super excited to do them. I actually wanted to do a full 2,000 point just Trogoth, but turns out I don't have enough models for that. And so I supplemented it with some of the Garots. We got our beautiful dank hold trog boss ready to lead the, the the way. I know he's behind, but that's because of the scenario play, that we are playing, as you're gonna see in just a second. And a wonderful dank hold trogoth over here. We've got three units of rock gut trogoths. We got some of the old models, so I'm gonna be spacing them a little further apart to represent the bigger bases. We've got two units of fellwater trogoths. One over here, that's the older models as well. You'll notice they're spaced probably a little bit more than an inch apart from each other, just to represent their bases that should be taking up more of space. All of the Trogoths are part of a Trog Herd War Scroll Battalion. Essentially what it does is anytime they do an unmodified wound roll of six, they get plus one to the damage of that attack. It's pretty cool. I could have included some Gargants in there, but just didn't want to. And then supplementing this, we've got a big old blob of 60 Stabas. Those are Grots with their little swords. We've got Netters out front. We've got all the banners and a musician. And we've got a Loon Boss and a Fungoid Cave Shaman in there. The Trog Boss is actually my general. So all of the other Trogoths that you see, except for that big white one over there, are actually battle line. That's why this is legal. And he's got the Mighty Blow Command Trait, which lets him reroll the damage rolls of his big club, which is D6 damage. So he'll be rerolling the D6s if he doesn't like them. My loon boss took the artifact called the Clammy Cow, which gives minus one to hit him with melee or ranged. He already has that as well, so he's actually minus two to be hit with melee or ranged, and minus three at range if he is getting lookout, sir. Oh, I also gave him the Pet Gribbly artifact. If you attack him in close combat before he's even fought, then you take D3 mortal wounds as it lashes out to protect its master. My Fungoid Cave Shaman has the Hand of Mork spell which lets me choose a unit wholly within 24 inches and more than three from the enemy, remove them from the battlefield, and place them anywhere on the battlefield more than nine inches away from enemies. I'm gonna be using this cool plastic thing created by uh, TNT Laserworks with the awesome beatmap bat rep symbol on it to represent the bad moon, which I place before the game starts. Technically, I should know who's going first. I don't, I don't think I'll, I'll care. I think I'm going to be placing it, I don't know, it's, it's a hard choice because of the direction of everything. I almost want to place it there so that we can fight there and then it affects over there. So I'm going to, you know what, just for fun, I'm going to place it right in this corner. It'll head that direction. And then we got Doug's Flesh Eater Quartz, supplemented with some of the mini Wargaming models. And we have so, our general on a Abhorred Ghoul King on a Zombie Dragon with the Blood River Chalice. So that uh, lets him rejuvenate D6 wounds, D6 wounds once, per once per game. Once per game. Um, under here we have a bunch of Crypt Horrors and a Courtier with them. So a nice big unit of nine that will hopefully stick around for most of the game and fight some big trolls. Um, and he has the Grim Garland, which is minus two to ba bravery in... 12 inches? 12 inches, yeah. Something like that. So it's a minus two bravery yeah, bubble. minus two bravery bubble. Uh, and then just ghouls and ghouls and lots more ghouls. 
So you actually have a formation. It's called the Ghoul Patrol. So that is three units of ghouls. So we got yeah. 40, 20. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, courtier, and then yeah. we got another unit of 10. And you could choose to have them start out on the table. And at the end of the first turn, they appear in any table side, yeah. six inches of the table side, nine inches from enemies. So you actually you decided to have one unit yeah. in reserve. So you just have 10 there. Has to be at the end of your first movement. Yeah. And in your hero phase, if they're on the table, they get d6 more ghouls, yeah. not returning adding so they can go above their starting strength because yeah. the fluff of it is that there's other ghouls who relate to the party and yeah. so more of them just show up so that's a lot of ghouls it's a lot of ghouls but you do have 60 oh i'm not complaining because <laughs> i've brought my big old moon thingy oh the moon shrine i want to call it the moon shrine which has a 12 inch bubble of if i'm holding within 12 inches then i auto pass battle shock tests and also, if this unit of 60 Grotz dies, then at the end of each of my turns, I roll a die, and a 4 plus, half of them will come back out, out of that thing, basically. Uh, you can't bring back units that have been brought back, though, so it'll just be once after you kill all 60. So probably never. Not that you can't kill 60, but it'll take most of the game for it to happen. We are playing the Escalation Mission from the Core Rulebook. There are three objectives. You can kind of see the, the, how the deployment works a little bit. There's a bit more to it. There's three uh, objectives, one 12 inches from each corner and one in the middle. You deploy your battle line more than nine inches from the center, so we're about 18 inches away from each other. Behemoths and artillery have to be deployed 24 inches back, and anything else is 18 inches. So you'll notice that his Ghoul King is a little further back than his, the, 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 the what do you call those guys? Uh, Crypt Horrors. Crypt Horrors, thank you. And on my side, thankfully, all my Trogoths are battle line, which is kind of fun, so they get to start nine inches up. But that's why my four others, you see him, the two heroes, and that guy are kind of all on the same line. That's because they're 18 inches back. I would have really liked these two big guys out front, but it's the, it's the objectives. And the scenario is pretty straightforward, actually, that uh, starting in the second battle round, you get a point for every objective you hold at the end of your turn, whoever has the most points wins. Five turns, simple as that. Really nothing else to it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm. Are you ready? Indeed. We had the same number of drops, but Doug won the roll off for placing first, so he gets to choose who goes first. And I'm not even sure what I would want you yeah, to choose right I'm now. I'm not exactly sure either. Because neither of us has a shooting army, so what do you yeah. want? What do you want, Doug? Uh, I think I will actually let you go first. Hmm. Can I seize to force you back? Don't if I roll so. a if I roll a one, can you take the first <laughs> turn instead? I'm like, can't you come a little closer first, Doug? <laughs> Just a little closer. Just a tiny bit. All right, 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 all right. Glim right. Spite gets turn one. And before we go any further, this gaming mat was provided by Table War. Awesome company, makes fantastic gaming mats. The rest of it was mainly created by Greenleaf Terrain for a much earlier commission from a long time ago. And then we got these cool little mushrooms there from War Gamma. We'll try to remember to put the links in the description below. The big mushrooms were custom built by Greenleaf Terrain. It's these small little, I don't even know if they're supposed to be mushrooms, but we made the mushrooms. Hero phase, my fungoid cave shaman. I didn't realize this. My last game that I played, they added a rule that on a four plus in the hero phase, he gives me an extra command point. Hey, look at that. We're just gonna throw a mystic shield. I do have the teleport spell. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know what the heck? I'm gonna teleport my trogoth, my dank hold trogoth right here. Possibly if I get a seven or higher. No, I will not teleport my dank hold trogoth. Movement phase. These guys are gonna run. Rock gut trogoths are gonna run five. As much as it pains me to do so, I'm going to have them run back this way towards the objective. I'll run these rock gut trogoths. One! Woo! They're going to kind of go in a diagonal towards the center. They move six? Six normally. Yeah. And the uh, little sister ones. I call them the little sisters. They're going to run six. Wait, blast, big brothers! Blah! Oh, they sound too much like rods. Uh, wait, blast, big brothers! My Fellwater Trogoths are going to run six. I'm not really going to move them there 12. I just want to kind of not have to measure. So if I roll in a run, I don't have to measure. It's very handy. And then big guy, big cool little Trogboth. He's going to run four. Boom, 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 boom. Ground shakes. And then these were more Fellwater Trogoths, despite what they look like. Three inches, so they're moving nine. 
Once again, not really looking to use that full nine. Got to make sure I keep them spaced at least a bit because their bases should be bigger. Oh yeah, let's just go right here. Hey guys. Oh girl, sorry, these are the little sisters. My big horde of grots is going to run. They get a plus two to their run, so that's a four inch run. I'm gonna run like a netter right here, yep. just to cover that two inches right there. And then we'll just kind of put, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get too aggressive yet. So they're just gonna kind of shift over like so. They're just swarming forward like so. The loon boss, ah, all right, three. And I'll just chuck them right in the middle of all of those. Fungoid Cave Shaman will run to just to bring him up. And the dank hold Trogoth who has failed to be teleported. That was his one life dream. We'll run four. I just want to teleport. He's up there. The end. Yeah, your hero phase, you get to add more ghouls, so d6 to each. Roll them yeah. separately. Three to them, Three to and them. how many of them? One. Uh, yeah, well, four, free, four free ghouls. Good old one ghoul. <laughs> you can't complain. Stick him out front. Yeah. <laughs> so he's late to the party, but somehow he's out front. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Where have you been? It's late to the party, as usual. It's tardy hardy. Hero phase. Are you going to bring in some extra guys? Yeah, I'm going to use the command points to... Call in some courtiers. Um, now you you gave him the command trait that the adjust a core. The adjust a core that when you do it, you can do it twice. You can do it twice for one command. Point. So you're gonna bring in a Vargulf courtier, yeah. big old Vargulf, and, and a and the crypt the horror courtier. Right, something bastard. Drop him down. Okay, so they need to be. We're gonna back up a second. It's changed um, since before, so that we actually do it at the end of the movement phase. So hold that thought. One second. All right. What you so gonna do? Casting Feeding Frenzy on the Ghoul King. You got it. I don't, I'm not close enough to stop it. So Feeding Frenzy is cast on the Ghoul King, and until his next hero phase, Flesh Eater Court models, not units, within 10 inches of him, reroll failed wound rolls. Yeah. Movement phase. Gonna run these whores. You wanna? Which one's the the? Uh, this guy up front. You, you wanna start with him so yeah, he doesn't get in the way. Yeah. He's gonna run five. Although I guess 12. sometimes you might wanna know how far the other ones run. Yeah. But whatever. One up here. He's gonna run up there. Yep. And then run the whole unit. Okay. Running the rest. Two inches. Two inches. Behind. Moving forward. Out they come. The crypt ghouls will just mosey on forward, not running, because apparently they want to try to engage. Don't blame them. He's not going to run the courtier. One. Seven inches. Right up over here behind that little gap. I'm going to walk these guys up. So walk just the another six. 20? Yeah. 23 now. Oh, right. That's important because as long as you have at least 20, you get an extra attack, yeah, right? Yeah, an extra attack. There up goes. they go. So I'm going to run the ghoul king. So Five. 19 inches. So basically pick them up and put them wherever the heck you want. Right. Yeah, as long as it's within that. <laughs> so I'll just move him up there. Boom. Uh, Straight into the charge phase, because you don't have any shooting that's in range. No, no, back it up, back it up, back oh, it up, wait, back, yeah, it up yeah, back it up, no, wait. back it up, back it up, back it up. You got, you got three things that have to come yeah. in, the two courtiers and the, and the, and the ten. The, and then the ten. That has to come in right yeah, now. Yeah, has to come. You're going to drop the ten on this table edge, six inches and nine inches away from my guys. Getting ready to grab that objective for next turn. So. Our wolf is going to jump in the back, come into the summons of his king. Right. And then the other crypt horror courtier will come near his kin all the other crypt horrors. Charge phase, start at them. They're gonna declare a charge. You're gonna need to roll at least seven to make it into a combat. And you rolled an eight. The first Bring one. it. Charging my fell water trogoths. Stampede is arriving. And then the big unit wants to charge. They're gonna need a nine inch charge to get there. Here's hoping. That's an eight. You do have one command point left over. 
Well, I also have um, the Crusading Army delusion, so they get to reroll. Oh, yeah, you, okay, we didn't talk about yeah, that. Yeah. You chose the Crusading Army, they get to yeah. reroll runs and charges. Runs and charges, yeah. So reroll it. There's no reason not to, right? Nine! Woo! Ooh. They made it! So they're exactly nine inches away from mine, so you just take your front line and put it right next to my front line. Oh, look at them come crashing into my lines. All the nets get thrown and the front crypt whores, or crypt ghouls get caught in them. You know, as much as like, oh, oh no, the mushroom. Oh, that made them the goblins, man. <laughs> yeah, I got the mushrooms! <laughs> I've been growing that for months. Um, so as much as like, I always, I always complain about things that give minus one a hit, and here I have a bunch of netters out front. Yeah. But I can't not bring the netters, right? Right? Oh, does that make me a hypocrite? Tell me in the comments, am I a hypocrite? The correct answer is, yeah, probably. <laughs> Beginning of the combat phase, I'm not using any uh, of my warlord or my command traits. Command abilities, that's the word. So there's only two things fighting right now at this moment. Oh, wait, <laughs> what am I talking about? There's a lot of things fighting. Which one would you like to fight with first? The big blob of 40 or the small blob of 20? They both have their advantages and disadvantages, obviously. Kind of one of those situations where no matter what you do, something's gonna get their yeah their butt kicked. Maybe we'll see. So, we're so hard choice for Doug. He wants to do the bigger unit because they're about to get smacked pretty hard. But he's worried about the smaller unit because if he goes below twenty, they lose their extra attack. And he thinks over there, I won't be able to kill twenty-one guys with one go, which yeah. is probably right. So these guys will go first. So they're gonna pile in and fight. And as you pile in, he does not want to bring in my Dankhold Trogoth, so I'm just going to leave that handy dandy uh, widget. That one was created by uh, TNT Laserworks as well, so thank you to them. So you got 11 guys in there, including the leader guy. So you're at 33 attacks, because you get the extra attack for having at least 20. We're hit with the white dice of the leader, because he boons better. But you're hitting on fives, because Fellwater Trolls stink really bad, so they give you minus one to their hit rolls, to your hit in close combat. Yeah. Fives! Fives! And you get to reroll ones thanks to your aberrant ghoul king being within 15 so, inches. So that's how many hits we have so far. Rerolling three ones. We got one, one more. more. So now you're winning on fours, but the white one's winning on threes, because that is the special guy. Ouch! I've only got a five up save. So you could. Oh, that's, that's one more. Uh, yeah. Wait, it wasn't that a three? It was a three, but you only win on fours. The white ones win on threes. Oh, oh I thought the white one. Okay, never mind. No, no. So, uh, five up saves, only got four wounds each. So you just killed, oh, just one shy of killing two. Oh, so close. oh I hope that you don't get the double turn. As an all regen. Yeah. So one dies, never to come back. And then one's brought down to one wound. Let's take that away now too. I am going to nominate Migrats to go next. We're just going to pile in and bring in as many guys as we can. Hey guys, let's hey go guys. fight some of these ghouls. We're all lined up, ready to go. So the netters, we got nine of them, so 27 attacks. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Well, I guess doing that, I was like, I should have done like command trait that lets them do mortal wounds on sixes. Well, but yeah. But we've got six so far. Why don't you roll these? You have six okay. up saves. You're not close enough to get the six up. No. It'd be wholly within an... So, so six of them die so far. You want to just pull them? Yeah. Just... And then I have a few more attacks, which won't be quite as much. So yeah, you're, you'll be fine. And then everybody else, I've got my boss in there, the white die. He'll hit on threes, the rest hit on fours. But look at that. It made a difference. Looking at twos to wound. I've got a couple ones in there. And look at that, I only got another six. There's a lot more potentials for sixes there. Hindsight. Sixes. Oh, we made two of those. So, so we lost five more. So 11 in total. So without inspiring presence, I'll lose you'll D6. lose D6 plus one more. Oh wait, no, because you'll have a, more guys. Although we're not done yet, because I still have my fell waters. But you get to go first. So now you're going to pile on in and hit me back. You still have at least 20, so it'll be three attacks each. But minus one to hit for everybody. So 20 of them are in. So you got 60 attacks hitting on fives because of the netters. <laughs> Rerolling ones. Yeah. You asked for this. So you got this many hits so far. I swear they all were hits. We moved them around. And you got a few ones you got to reroll. And there's a few more. Look at that. It's not bad. No, not bad at all. That one's on Fours you. to wound. Yeah, just, it's whatever. And then threes on the white dice. And I get five up saves against those. Oh, look at that. 
You killed nine. <laughs> Sound right. familiar? Uh, oh wait, no, I take that back. I killed more than nine. I thought I just killed nine. So three, six, nine. Sorry guys, see ya. And now the Fellwater Trolls will pile on in. Uh, they're two inch reach, so this guy will be in reach too. He reached those ones, but even that one. They are four attacks each, threes to hit. Hmm. You know what, that was perfectly average. Threes to wound. These are minus one ren, so they ignore your six up armor, two damage apiece. But any sixes I roll, none of them, would be an extra damage. So it's 10 die from that. Ouch. You better hope for the double turn, man. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to do that again. Uh, and then just these two right here will fight. Eight attacks and on threes. Okay. Winning on threes, sixes do an extra damage. Oh, oh I wasn't wrong. That's, uh, yeah. that's 12 died. 12 died. Yeah. So it's two each and an extra for each of those. <laughs> wow. Two were. I should bring these in units of two if I could. So, ow. Oh boy, so we got a problem here. We are in our battle shock phase, and you are not within 12 inches of your general, or six no, inches of I a hero. Nice. So your bravery 10, so you've lost 12 guys here, so you're gonna lose d6 plus two more. Low numbers. Five more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And you lost 21 over here, so you're gonna lose 11 plus d6 more. Oh, 16 more! <laughs> oh, so many! Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh, you charged outside of your your, your support oh, range. Oh, I got too enthusiastic. I feel like this shouldn't be a bat rep. This should be a tutorial. Yes, exactly. Oh no! This is why you don't charge away from your support guys. Sorry, gonna... Take the ones away from yeah, my fellow waters at least, right, so yeah, that I don't you don't have to fight them again. Yeah, maybe yeah, although it does free them up if they want to do other stuff. Four. Oh, so Wait. many. Sixteen, we said. Yeah. yeah. That's that's seven. Seven, seven, ten, seven. ten, thirteen, sixteen. Oh, there's six left because you gained one. Oh, <laughs> oh, right, thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. that didn't work. Put those out. back in the box. Okay. And <laughs> he's I, 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 he's like, guys, wait, oh, wait. Oh, 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 you're okay. Now you're all dead. Well, if you can, if you, can, if you get a double turn, they could always retreat back. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, I'm no, not sure. No. Yeah, no, I don't, I'm holding within there. 12 inches of my moon shrine, so my grots don't have to do a battle shock test. They, on the other hand, would, but their bravery six. But he gives them plus one bravery for being within 12 inches of him. Holy within 12, I think. Either way, they're with either. So they're actually bravery seven. So losing one. You don't have anything here that's minus bravery, right? No. Uh, then I cannot lose another one. Yeah. Okay, so Whew. that was our first turn, eh? And that doesn't look too good for our, um, you just, oh man, you broke against that. Yeah. You broke against that. You killed nine goblins, one, nine grots, and one troll. For 37 ghouls. Yeah, more than oh, that, well, I think. Plus another, these guys got three. Yeah, you, you've so. lost a lot. You gained, remember you got, oh yeah, this is. Yeah, it's just, we don't have to count. We don't yeah, have to count. Fine, numbers, fine. numbers don't matter. Numbers don't, they do, Minus but we're not going to say they matter. So let's roll off. But actually, before we roll off, we've got to see if the bad moon moves. So on a one, it stays still. Two to a five, it moves one. And a six, it moves twice. Oh, come on. That's two games in a row it didn't move. Come on, it was going to move right there, and it's going to affect all my guys. Oh, well. That would so let's roll to see who gets the, to pick who goes first in the next turn. Yeah. So I win ties. So, oh, we, I, OK. Oh, you know, uh, I don't know. Do you want the double turn now? Is now the time? I actually don't. Either. You it's can not. comment below whether you think it is, but he's not going to see that before he makes his choice. Nope. Um, I'll let you think about it for a second. Yeah. So the Flesh Eater Courts, you got a master plan, right? Master plan. You're taking the double turn. Double turn. Yes. Now, we've talked about the master plan, so <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I think it's appropriate to talk to the audience yeah, about yeah, it, because I want, want to see the, you know, the mind, the mind so, of Doug. So classic... Um, Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Sigmar in a while and decided to charge ghouls into some things that they shouldn't have been charged into, and as you all saw. So my plan now is just to try to play the objectives and maybe get enough points. You are going to right now get D6 more guys back to each of these units. Yes, yes. And then, so here's what Doug is thinking of doing. Mm. And these two units will retreat. They'll grab the objective. They'll form a second line that I have to deal with first-ish. Everything else will pull this way, 
and then you're going to do your best to hold this objective as long as you can for the game. Other side, all those crypt horrors, rather than charging headlong into the trolls and really not doing anything for the rest of the game. Because, yeah, yeah they, kill, just they kill the trolls, yeah. they don't kill the trolls, it doesn't Maybe. matter. I got my but my bulk of my power is right here, so that's the worst place to charge. Although they could deal some damage, yeah. they can come this way instead and help hold this objective, and then my forces are split. And I get the middle objective time and time again. But if if you can hold it long enough, yeah. Well, we go to and five you keep getting turns. and well, we always do five yeah. turns, and you always get d6 more ghouls in each of the units that are alive. That are alive. <laughs> well, right now you could roll six, six, and six, and that could look yeah. very different, right? It's true. Let's start with that. All right. Well, let's do it. How many do they get? All right. For them, two. Okay, that's not a six. Let's do the next one. Let's just do all three of them. Uh, uh, one. And the last one on the other side. Just do it right here, right here. Nobody needs to see you real close. Three. Okay. One, two, yeah, three. Yeah, you rolled a total of six. <laughs> Doug. Uh. So two back to this squad. Uh, oh, not wrong. Oh, that's some bad luck there. That's five dice in total. You've rolled all less than four. It was a three and a one, then a two, three, and a one. And then the last one. And then three on this side. Well, this is something. And feeding frenzy on himself. You got it, but I've got my shaman nearby. And no, I did not take it from you because I don't get a plus one to unbinding with him. Retreat and run. You get there? <laughs> run away! Run away! Four. You are allowed to reroll runs because of your thing, but four is pretty four's good. Four is fine. Yeah. You don't want to really chance rolling less than four. So ten inch run. Run, run, run. Stay with three. You have to end more than three inches away. You can go within three inches of my guys as long as you end more than three inches because you're retreating. Probably just want to go and back. They come, so they're the speed bump, and they feel super happy about it. <laughs> and these ones are going to retreat and run. Why don't you reroll yeah. that? There we are. An improvement of fifty percent. Nine inch run. Go back and grab that objective. Get your point, okay. and just place them in such a way to slow me down as much as possible. And then our big fine. old zombie dragon is going to fly over, getting ready to, to use his breath attack against. I only have one wound left in that one guy, so you just have to hit. And then the courtier's gonna run and be like, Oh my, my, my king, my king, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, king. That's a cool sound, like, I'm coming, king. Yeah, just gotta hide behind that tree there. And the big old mushrooms that weren't there <laughs> half an hour ago. Oh, it's concerning. This guy's gonna run. Run. Six, Ooh. don't need to reroll that. Nope. And then a bunch of runs over here with the crypt horrors. Or uh, maybe, how much? He's gonna walk and try to charge. It's a pretty long charge. If I get here. Um, yeah, you're looking at no. a 12 inch charge. Yeah, that's like a full. Yeah, I'll just okay. run. run them. Five. No, no. Will... Don't have to reroll that. No. Just gonna jump right on that objective. And a Cortia right here. Reroll. Because you can reroll runs and charges. There you are, 13 inches. Just he where do you want them? Yeah, he doesn't really, you don't don't really need to want him to get. Charged. Well, then just pop him back there and run the other one that's right there. How far is he gonna run? Three, mm -hmm. so that's ten. You want to reroll that or keep that? Ten. I think that gets me where I need to go. Yeah, that's fine. You're good. You're yeah. good. And then what do you want to do with these crypt ghouls? Uh, I'm gonna run them away from your scary trolls. Uh, reroll that as a cock die. Six. Right. Just gonna run back behind the crypt horse. They didn't see those trolls. Trolls coming around those trees. They're like, ah, <laughs> oh, no. The so breath attack here against, I'm um, guessing, the Fellwater? Yeah, so we see, try for the... First you drew the roll to see if you get him, with, so you have to roll equal to or under the number of models. No, no. failing that, you got to roll three plus. Okay, if you had rolled opposite, <laughs> no. like, it was like one or two or three plus. <laughs> Wound on a two plus because you are not injured. You ignore my five up because it's a minus two. Hold on, is it minus two? I think it's minus two. It's minus two. Yeah, it's minus three rend, so it ignores my five up save. You do d6 damage. I've only got one wound left on the one. Oh, you killed them! They're gone! No regeneration from you! <laughs> Small victories. I don't know, that's a pretty big deal. Their noxious yeah. stuff is pretty strong. It's true. And that's your turn. So you got two yep. points. You grab both side objectives. Yep. End of your turn. So the score is 2 nothing for the Flesh Eater Courts. There you go. So in my hero phase, my fungoid cave shaman gives me another command point on a four plus. Yay! <laughs> I now have five. <laughs> oh boy! Better start using those. Fungoid cave shaman really wants to teleport somebody with hand of mork or gork, whichever it is, and he fails again! <laughs> all right, I guess we're not doing that. Other than that, I got regen on all my trolls, but any trolls that were hurt are now dead. 
Uh. <laughs> and we're going to bring these guys over, bringing the netters as far forward as possible. Make sure we plop a netter right in the middle there because that's not really super annoying. I don't know why my grats have minus one to hit and they can come back. That <laughs> just sounds really annoying to fight against. I'm sorry, but they're so cool. I love them so much. We're going to run my loon boss three inches. I don't know, right there. I'm actually going to wrap him around a little further so I can use his command ability in the command combat phase. Fungoid Cave Shaman will run six inches. He's just going to scuttle this way. My rock guth trolls are going to walk over here, getting ready to rip up some rocks from this ground. These ones will walk up to here, all casual-like. These ones will walk up to here, all casual-like. So they're 10 inches, right, for their throne? Yeah, I think it's 10. No, I think it's choosing it within 12. Oh, okay. We're going to run the dank hold trog, trog boss. Five inches, nice, at 11. Get him as far in there as possible to do his little bubble. These guys are just going to move up to the objective. They're going to get ready to teleport next turn because it's going to it's going to work. It's going to work next turn. I swear. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually run them. No, what? Fine. Two inches. Yeah. All three of my rock goth, uh, troll goth units are going to throw boulders. The way that that works is the unit picks another unit holy or not holy within, but within twelve inches invisible. I roll a die. If it's equal to or less than the number of models in that unit, they take D three mortal wounds. The, all three of these units, and you can do that even if you ran. It doesn't. It's not a shooting attack. It just is in the shooting phase. And so all three of them are going to choose this big unit of uh, crypt horrors, which means I'll auto hit with all three, which means I'll do three d three mortal wounds. Big money, big money. Oh, that's, that's above average. Good. So that's seven mortal wounds, which you ignore in sixes because you do have heroes holy within twelve inches. So okay, five two. wounds. So, so one, one. There are four wounds each. Yes. So one loses a wound. So one is down to just that. And then this one will get wounded. Huh, not bad. Bunch of boulders. Let's do some charges. Rocka Trog or Rocka Troga, seven inch charge. That will work. It's a hard choice. I because you've got these two crypt horror courtiers, basically in your hero phase, if I don't double turn you, you're gonna roll six dice each, so twelve dice. Each five plus you get to bring back one of these guys. Is that right? Is that how it works? Yeah. yeah. So if I don't kill like all of them or most of them, then you're gonna bring back any ones that I kill. So I could alternatively go for these guys, which you don't get to bring back. But then that guarantees that all these other charges probably won't have much effect after this turn, assuming I don't get the double turn. Mm -hmm. But killing these guys does get me the objective, which yeah. is also important. But the other problem with charging these guys is that it brings me outside of the 18 inches of my trog boss, which lets me reroll ones when I, do, when I am going to do my command ability. Let's charge these guys that are farther away. Seven inches is probably going to fail. Yeah, I needed a 10. So I'm going to use one of my five <laughs> command points to reroll that, try to get a 10. Ooh, we did it! Like Ooh, we did it! A 10. That is hoping so that you're going to at least keep one of the units out. Nope. nope. Well, the other ones might fail the charge. Oh. Other ones will charge, they need seven. Which they fail. Command point reroll. You really want this. Ten. Oh. oh this one's going to wrap around and maybe try to take care of this corner. Yeah, no. We're, we're going to try to kill this corner. I was trying to get him out of the way, but with a ten inch, that's a... Uh... It's pretty rough. I'll be able to get two of them there because it's two inch reach. Uh, uh, six. Six wounds on him? Oh, well, I could kill him. We'll see. Big old dank hold Trogoth is going to run. Thankfully, the loon boss was at six inches to be able to reroll charges. I only need three to get there, so eight. I'm going to have him smash in to this line as deep as possible. I'm just outside of the three inches of your guy. So we'll keep him there. And then charge the big unit of Grotz. Five. So I'm going to go there. The most important one is this netter. And then this netter. Just to be really. Oh, they're coming on in. Oh boy, that's a lot of grats. I'm gonna pop his command ability, which all Trogoth models, units wholly within 18 inches of him get to reroll ones to hit. So it'll only affect these two units and himself, but he's not in combat. And then my Loon boss is gonna use his as well. Um, Moon Clan Grot units wholly within 12 inches of him. If they roll a wound roll, unmodified wound roll of six, they do a mortal wound in addition to their normal damage. In the combat phase, I get to choose the first one to fight. So I'm going to choose this unit of Rockguth Trogoths. Rockguth. Rockgut Trogoths. <laughs> and the two of them will put their attacks into your courtier, and the other one will fight your Cryptors. The, uh, it's two inch reach. Yeah, two inch reach. Yeah. <laughs> so I got four attacks hitting on threes, rerolling ones. 
Oh, naturally got a two. <laughs> Poppycock. Three is to wound. Uh, I need to get at least two of these to kill you, but I really need all three. Or I need the two that get you to be sixes, because sixes will do an extra damage. Three is to wound. Dang it! Okay. All right, that's three wounds to you. You ignore them on sixes, because you sure aren't getting a save against their no. minus two rent. Mm -hmm. You don't ignore any, so you lose three of your wounds. And then the other one into your Crypt Horrors, threes to hit. Oh, of course, watch. Okay. Watch this double six. Oh, yeah. Booyah. Uh, There's a minus two, so that's three damage. So it could kill one if you don't roll any sixes here. No, no. that one. So he dies. Well, he'll be back. Oh, your turn uh, to pick. Gonna pile in with the Crypt of Horrors. He's gonna have a one inch reach, so this guy could pile around like this yeah. and then bring yeah. that guy in. And that'll yeah. that'll be it, because the rest will be needed to... Uh, yeah. Like he could start like he to could, pile around. Well, he can start to pile this yeah. way, and then this guy can fill the gap. That's it. So yeah, one over on them, and then one, two, three, three on the other unit. Yeah, so three. the three, yeah, it's three. One, no, because he, no, no, yeah. he's a different guy. Oh, so right, three of them into the rock gut trogoths. Rock gut trogoths, hitting on fours. Decent hit. Threes to wound, but sixes will do an extra damage. No, uh, well, but you got a lot of wounds. So five wounds, no rend, but they're oh, two damage apiece. So I got yeah. my five up save, and then I ignore wounds on a five up. Oh! You got two through, which means you do four, four. wounds. Yeah. That's enough to kill one if I don't roll any four. I have five pluses. Oh! You did two yeah. wounds in total. Arrgh. I don't know. It sucks. I'm going to put it on this guy in the end. And then one guy over here and two yeah. other ones. And because he's by himself, he'll make sure to kill at least one. Four is to hit. See? See? It's the lone ones that yeah. are dangerous. Oh, Three is to wound. Oh, no. I take it back. So that's uh, one wound, or no. one hit, five yeah. up save. No oh, goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> These rot gut trogoths are going to go. You know, I'm just going to make sure we're staying close to the objective. Threes to hit. That hurts. Ooh. That one doesn't get, does not get to re re roll because I'm not close enough. Threes to wound. Okay, all three of them make it through. That's nine wounds. So uh, you get sixes to ignore that. I ignored your armor with yeah, my minus yeah. two. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy Sixes. Five, so five. five of them die. Not bad. So five go down. There we go. Yeah. Well, You're going to switch over to the other side that. because anybody else you can fight on the other side is no longer in any threat or in mm -hmm. any, any danger. So which ones do you want to do? These ghouls or these ghouls? Do I want to kill goblins or I'm not going to get through your goblins? Well, no, but you'll kill a few. I don't know what the right answer is. Yeah. It just makes sense to do at least something over here. Yeah, right? I'll just do. I'll do it into this guy. These ones. Yeah. Okay. We'll just say they all get in there yeah. for sake of time. So you got eight of them there. So sixteen attacks sitting on fours. Three rolling ones because of the ghoul king nearby. You roll those ones. Nice. nice. Four is to wound, but the whites wound on threes. This one, they're all oh. dead. No. Bring it back. Hmm. So five wounds in total. Four up save. Save two of them. So three wounds down to seven. So he's down to seven. Hoping to get him down to six and then magically do another breath attack. And kill him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll do the grats. Hey, guys. Goodbye, sweet, sweet ghouls. Let's get this other netter up there. As many netters as I can, because they are awesome. <laughs> we forgot to reroll your wound roll, so let's back up for a second. I think there's about five of them. We'll say two of them are the white ones. They were all four ups. So, because oh. I think one, one, of them wound, one of those wounded. Oh, okay, so there you so go. There. Four ups, and three up for the white. So you got three more wounds, four up saves, two more wounds. Well, there you go, you got him down to five. Maybe you'll kill him with the breath attack next. If not, you can just tear him to pieces with zombie dragon. Yeah. Now the grots. Yeah, the, then the grots <laughs> will take down the dragon. <laughs> Start with the three netters, hitting on fours. Wounding on threes, but sixes do mortal wounds in addition. There's the a six. mortal wound. And then you get your seat. So oh, opponent, before you kill guys, so you yeah. get your six up saves for the other two. Go ahead, roll okay. those two. Six up saves. And then all three of these you can ignore on sixes because you've got a hero within 12. So wow. two dies so far. Well, not bad. 12 more attacks from the other ones that are in range, hitting on fours. Ooh, that's a solid hit. Ooh, yeah. Lots of opportunities for sixes. Wounding on twos. Sixes do an extra mortal wound on top of that. Lots of ones, but we also got four sixes. So six wounds that you get six up save against. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter which ones are the sixes. Nothing. No, and so then we'll add those four other ones in there, and six as you ignore them. I think they're all gone. You've yeah. only got five guys left. And goodbye. Yeah. Well, um, they did their job. Speed bump. <laughs> Back to your turn. So you still have the 
Courtier and the uh, pools. It doesn't matter the yeah, order because I've gone with both the units they're fighting. Alright, we'll do the Start Courtier him. first. Start this massive bone club, hit on fours. Nice, yeah. this is one that hits hard. Threes to wound. Okay, so two wounds. There's no rent on this, but there's oh, three. Wait, uh... is this? No, the six doesn't do extra for his oh, no, stuff. Oh, no, not for him, yeah. So uh, these ones are going to do three damage each if I fill my five ups. Oh, I make one of them, so three damage. That will kill one if I... If, if I've got one with two wounds left. Yeah. Five up to ignore, you kill them one. That means you won't regen. Kill them with fire. And you still have the talons as yeah. well. You got your talons as well, fours and threes. One hit. One. No wound. Okay. I did forget an ability for the dank called Trogoth. He has squiggly beast followers. At the start of the combat phase, I roll a die for each enemy unit within three inches, which would have been both of them. But I have to roll equal to or higher than how many guys. And you had more than six more in than both six, of them to yeah. start. So it wouldn't do anything. So it's more for, it looks like, it does a mortal wound, so it looks like that's more for a smaller unit, which is the opposite of what you're used to. Yeah. So you're going to start with this crushing grip. He's going to let go of that big old centipede, pick up one of the ghouls, and go, pop. Uh, you don't get to roll anything for that. Okay. I have to roll a die. It has to be equal to or greater than its wound's characteristic, which is a one plus. Yeah. Ones don't fail automatically. And it's slain. It doesn't do a mortal wound. It's slain. So no six up to ignore. Then his enormous club hits on threes. Oh, only two hit. I'm not in range to get to rerolls. Threes to wound. Oh, come on. It's minus two. Two. So I'm going to get three your armor. D6 damage. So I could roll high here. Four. Not bad. Pretty good. Ignore one sixes. Okay, oh. four of them die. I'll take it. Not enough to make you run. Oh, I know. I killed five in total, so, so five. could roll a six and lose one. Yeah. Only or you can inspire your presence, though. <laughs> you got your ghouls. There will be eight of them attacking. Because they can pile in in such a way to all get in. There we are. Look at that. Eight of them. 16 attacks sitting on fours. Yeah, no negatives. No rerolls. No rerolls. Fours to wound, but the white one wounds on threes. Not bad. Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. No, three wounds. No. <laughs> yeah, not enough to kill one. Five up saves. I uh, don't save any. Five up to ignore them. Of course, those all get through. Very efficient. <laughs> so, uh, you are down to one. Yeah, and then my Trogas right here will pile in. i got to keep them not touching each other because of the size of their bases. Everything into your Crypt Horrors, which you're just going to bring back whatever I kill, but maybe I can feel good about myself. Threes to hit, re-rolling ones, five hits. I could get lucky and roll like five sixes here and just like slaughter so many of them. Nope. Threes to wound. One of them got through. That automatically does three damage as he ignores your armor. Sixes to ignore it. No, you take three damage. Wow, that, that was impressive. Well, don't no, put them in the middle, because no, if no, I no. kill the middle one, then the rest of them run yeah, away. I'll take, just go in the end. There we are. Battle shock. I lost one here, but their bravery seven thanks to the tro trog boss within 18 inches. I you am. lost five right here. You could inspire in presence, or you could just roll. If you roll six, you'll lose one I'm more. Just gonna roll. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. You lost none more. And then same. So I, I, my grats are fine, but you did lose five. Five there, and you're not gonna inspire in presence them. So you roll a six, you'll lose one more. Didn't know. Well, I don't really... Even if you lost one more. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So the only point I get is for the middle one, because I don't have... I have three guys within six, maybe a fourth, but you definitely have at least four, if not more. Yeah. Easily more. So I only get a point for the middle, so the score is two to one at the end of turn two. Another very important roll-off for who goes next, because if I can pull off a double turn, you'll probably now die. Yes. But if you go next you might be able to do what you planned, which is hold me off long enough because you can start bringing back Crypt Horrors, bring back a few um, Crypt Ghouls on both sides, actually, with your extra D6, and just kind of keep targeting me long enough for the game to go on to yeah. your turn. You and might, you be, able, you might be able to one... Sh you should be able to finish off that troll over there, but if I go next, he'll regen, and then I'll tie up your, your zombie dragon. So this is going to be a very important roll. They all are, but this one feels even more important. So we're going to roll off. You win ties, because you went first last yes. time. Why don't you roll first? So you roll six, I'm not even going to bother. You did, didn't you? And I even rolled nice and high. Are you going to take the double turn? Or, or present, prevent me from taking the double turn? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. I forgot to roll to move the, the moon. Give me a six. Oh, come on! It's not moving at all! <laughs> First up, D6 guys come back right there. Three. Okay. And then does he get to bring back more? He doesn't. He does. And, and they're he, within... He, he, yeah, they're within ten. Yeah. So he rolls six dice every two plus yeah. is one of them brought back. So uh, there's six more. There's so six is that more. nine in total? Jeez. Yeah. Over here, you're going to get D6 more ghouls, but you can also roll six dice for each of these Crypt Hunter courtiers. So let's do the D6 first. Yeah. 
You get uh, three ghouls back. Still nice. Not hey, well, it, it, it's still lots. And then you get uh, roll 12 dice, each five plus. Brings back a guy. Look at that. You got them all back. Yeah. But except the one guy's still wounded. Yeah. So, so he heals. Get... This guy heals a wound. Yeah. And so does yeah. He heals a wound, and you get the other two that died back. And then we get three ghouls back. Where does want to go? Oh, there's a gem in there somewhere. Yeah. And then three more ghouls. Just tar pitting. And Good. so feeding frenzy as always. I don't want to miss the not feeding frenzy. I did not stop it again. <laughs> same, same wrong. Very close. Movement phase. Um, going not, to... not quite yet suicidal. Still waiting to yeah. hold me off a little longer. Oops. Ow. Jump him over. He's gonna come over here. Your zombie dragon is already where he wants to be to try to kill my troll. And the courtier just, and I don't know courtiers? if he wants to. He wants to protect himself more, or... I don't really know where... Yeah, I guess His use of us is about to end. Yeah. I would assume. I'm gonna go hide over here. And then a courtier right here, who just wants to kind of plop himself in the middle. Yeah. To keep providing his buff of inspiring presence, or who knows what else. Yeah. Shooting phase! You got your uh, pestilent, or horrible breath, whatever. Yeah. You gotta roll a one to hit my big guy. You did not, so now you need to roll three plus. Um, okay. okay. Well, good thing you had to roll that one first, yeah. right? Two's to wound. Two's to wound. Okay, I don't get a save, so D6 damage, I got five wounds. Oh. Two. Well, you, you could still finish him off with your ghouls. Last time you did quite a few wounds, and you got lots more of them now, right? So he's down to three wounds. No way to stop that. No other shooting. You want to charge anywhere? No, I think I'm... You're good? I think I'm good. Okay, so in the combat phase, I have to decide if I want to use my one command point. If I want to save it for Inspiring Presence. I really want to kill these ghouls so I can swarm in here and take care of your ghoul king. So I'm going to pop his trait that they all will mortal wound you on sixes when they wound. Yep. You're going to start with the crypt ghouls? Yeah, I want to kill that wonderful, beautiful model. Okay. So you got nine of them on him, three of them on them. Four is to hit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the netters are on the guys that are fighting the goth, yeah. big rocks. Four is to hit. Not a great one. That was a fantastic roll. Oh, yeah. Reroll those ones. Reroll those ones. You've only missed three times so far. Four, oh, five, six times. Not bad. You're looking at fours to wound, threes on that white die. No re oh, you get to reroll everything, yeah. though. So you got three only. Good thing you can reroll. Yeah, you should be able to come with this. Yeah, I've got to make a lot of four up safe. I've only got three wounds left, and I'm dead. First troll unit gone. Hey, this killed the unit. Oh, so oh, yeah, six plus to, to get to fight again. I want you to roll that right now. We'll finish your other guys before they actually do it. On feeding frenzy. Oh, feeding frenzy! <laughs> okay, so why don't we just group it all together? So because they would pile in, and they'd all get there. So you got the three guys there, and then everybody again. So we're gonna combine the attacks with three, and then the new ones too, just because three won't kill enough to make a difference. Yeah. Four is to hit. Rerolling ones. Lots of hits. Reroll those ones. Two, two more, more hits. Oh, I forgot to minus. I had a couple netters with a bunch of them. It's fine. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. It's I can fine. Just you, no, you rolled really high. You rolled really high. I don't want to make you reroll. This is a lot of attacks that would be a minus one, but we'll remember that for next time. You're looking at fours to wound, rerolling. You've got a command uh, point still. Yeah, well, I'm definitely going to. Oh, I don't have a command point. I used it to uh, to augment them. So this is your turn to there really kill a lot from uh, Battleshock. Five up armor saves because of my shields. Ooh, that's good. I think so. You see a lot of fours there, yeah. though, so it's actually well, there's six. Yeah. So you kill eight of them in total. Well, let's grab eight from the back. Six, seven, eight. It's my turn. Oh, wait, you're done over here. I'm going over there. I need to do these three just because this guy's down to one wound, and you keep gonna... stopping me from regening. All of them on the Crypt Ghouls. I didn't actually. No, I did add them. Yeah. You did add them? Yeah, yeah. Six attacks, hitting on threes, no rerolls. Poop! Poop! Threes to wound, sixes do an extra damage at least. Okay, so that is three, six, ten damage that you ignore on sixes. Ooh. See those just three that just slip through and they just bam, crack your skulls. And you rolled no sixes, so ten one. died, which is exactly how many? Oh, you had eleven. Yeah. Wow, you had eleven. One's gonna survive. <laughs> well, I get my turn next, so at least I can make sure he Hold dies. On. Yeah, two, four, six. Yeah, there, there's, eight, there's ten, one left. There you go. Yeah. You're going to do your big unit of crypt horrors. Right. So you're going to have one into those three, three into those two, and one Ooh. of these three. Start with the one into those rot gut, rot gut, fours to hit. Jeez. Threes to wound. Oh, goodness, oh, man. Yeah, the six is the. Six extra. is extra damage, so five up against that one. Nope, five up against the others. 
Of course not. These are two damage each. Three on the yeah. one, which I ignore on fives. Ooh, well, I got oh, okay. One. Three wounds. Ah! You didn't. You didn't kill one. Ah! Woo! So I'll wound this one. This right. is why I should have split. I kind of wish you did kill him because then my guy can charge in. Because oh, right now these guys are probably gonna have to retreat to have him charge yeah. in. So then three on those two. Twelve attacks from them, hitting on fours. No rerolls here, by the way. Okay. Average roll, threes to wound. Uh, a little below average, but you did get a six. So that's an extra wound. So five up saves. No, five up save. Oh, I stopped the good one. So four wounds. I gotta fail all four of these five pluses, which I do not. I'll wound the one that's further away. And then you got the one into these three, which could finish off the one. Four to hit. Oh, only one, threes to wound. Oh, it's a one! Oh. He failed! But that one, you know what? No, let's, let's, let's yeah, do yeah, it properly. Let's yeah. do it properly. <laughs> so I'll do these two into your Crypt Haunter Courtier. Four attacks total from the two of them. Yeah. Threes to hit, no rerolls. Threes to wound, sixes doing extra damage. Okay, those two get through your armor. So it's six damage in total. You've got only four wounds left, but you're on sixes. If we three, see three sixes here, you're alive. No. No, one six, he's dead. That's what we expected. I'm glad, though. You've got your Crypt Ghoul left to fight. Mm -hmm. Can he finish off the one guy? He's got fours and fours. I believe in you. Fours and fours. Fours and threes. Oh, because you obviously you kept your special one. <laughs> Does not matter. So you're done with everything, so I'm just going to do the rest of my guys. Uh, did they already go? No, they didn't go already go. They already went, they yeah, killed the guy. They, they already went and killed go. a lot of guys. Yeah. These three need to go. Six attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, not bad. No rerolling. I didn't pop the one command ability. Threes to wound. Poop. Just two. And so that's uh, six damage, which you ignored. Sixes, because you've got a hero with holy within still. So six more wounds. That kills two of them. The one that was down to two wounds, which is him, actually. Oh, no. And then your Boop. choice of another one. This guy. And that's Ooh, not going to mess No, no, this is, this yeah. is a continued line. And now we go to these grots. We're gonna get some revenge. I believe in you, ghouls. Uh, I do too, unfortunately. <laughs> You're too good. We'll bring him around. Yeah, we're just gonna get a bunch of guys in. Let's start with the three netters, hitting on fours. Winning on threes, because I still have at least 40 grots here. Sixes is a mortal wound. So you get six up saves against all of these, and then we'll throw in the mortal wound after we see how many you make here. You failed all three, so there's four six ups to ignore. One saves. So three of them die so far. So we got the rest of the guys with their stabbers. One's in range, of course. Fours to hit. Ooh. Twos to wounds. Sixes are mortal wounds. No mortal wounds, but thanks That's... to being twos to wound, those yeah. are all wounds. So oh. you get your six up, six up against these. Six up. Oh, I made three of those, you little friggin'. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful guest. <laughs> Sixes to save. Ah, oh, only three go down! It's two more, right? Three. No, three more. Three more. So, I only killed six of them. So they're not going anywhere. Even if you don't inspire in presence. Just don't break up the squad. No, that's fine. You're good. You're good. Yeah. So, battle shock. The question is, I've lost eight guys. I've got at least 40. So, and I got my banner. Does he give me minus bravery at this distance? No. No? Oh, wait, that that would have happened over there, though. What would have happened over there? Oh, um, just when I killed that one guy, we had his, his minus two bravery thing. One of the... the uh, minus two bravery from hunter, what? From the Grim Garland, his uh, artifact that he got for... So my plus one, minus two... It wouldn't have mattered, I don't think. Probably It means not. you would have had to roll six, I think, right? Yeah, probably yeah, yeah, that. It doesn't matter. So we'll remember that for now, though, yeah. if you... Oh, you didn't kill anything over there. No, no, okay, no. so right here, I lost eight of them. My bravery is four base. I'm at 40 guys. So that brings it up to eight. Um, and then I've got the banner, which gives me plus one, so that brings me bravery nine, so I'll lose d6 minus one more. Yeah. So, two more. Oh no, two more guys. Below, uh... Uh, it means I've lost nine, eight, and two, so okay. I've lost 19 in total. <laughs> you, need to, you need to kill two more! You get me below two the more. 40. And uh, you're within 12 inches of general, you could inspire in presence these, because you lost six of them in total. So you could but lose more, or you could just roll well, a die. considering that I can't. You, uh, yeah, we checked the one over there, and you are six and a half inches away from your hero. Six times. <laughs> yeah, so, he, so that one's just going to run. So just pick it up and take it off. 
because it was bravery 10 and he had lost 10 that's why it ran so do you want to inspire in presence these yeah i'll inspire in presence okay you have, well, you have else, lots of yeah i have nothing points. else to do with my command points i didn't lose any full trolls over here in this turn so no battle shock for them and you're you lost two yeah you lost two of them but you're yeah. leader, you're bravery 10 with them so yeah. they're fine so points wise you're still controlling this one because we have an equal number of guys next to it three and three and but since you controlled it first yeah. it is still yours and you definitely control the other side because so i can't two. so that's two more points yeah. so that makes it four to one yeah. can you hold on for one more turn it's doubtful but we'll see we'll see into my turn four plus the fungoid cave shaman will give me an extra command point Wow, he hasn't failed to do that. So I have two now. Yeah. Time for some regen. Basically all the Churgos and a four plus regen D3. Four plus, yep, D3. Uh, two uh, of them, it's back up to three. Uh, come on, come on. This unit here, one of them's down to two and he does regen back to full. Uh, well, that, if that's all that happens, then I've done well. And this unit right here, yes. Two wounds, holy cow, I just got six wounds back. Well, I'd, I can't, I'd feel bad except yeah. for watching all your guys just walk back on over and over again. We're gonna try a teleport again. Seven, woohoo, I got 11. Oh. You can only stop with double six. You didn't, whoa, good roll, but no dice. So I'm gonna remove them and then place them nine inches away over on this side, woo, flanking. You gotta make the teleport worth it, you know? Yeah, yeah, here they come, they can't, puke on you this turn, but, you know, there's more to yeah. life than just puking. That's true. There is. They just throw up from teleporting anyway. <laughs> yeah. Grab the objective. Move closer. I'm going to retreat with these three rock trogaths only because I want to make space for big, big boy over there. Big daddy. Big daddy drag boss. My loony boss is going to move up a little closer, and then he's going to think better of it and move back because he doesn't want to get breathed on. But then I remembered you have to hit me on a six, because minus one to hit him normally, minus one because of the artifact, and then minus yeah. one from lookout, sir. So you know what? Let's let's yeah, bring him in. You know what? Go. Breathe on me. He breathe on me. <laughs> All three units are going to pick up rocks and throw them. It's not a shooting attack. It just says in the shooting phase, choose a unit within twelve inches. Blah, blah, blah. And I got to roll equal to hundred. Yeah, I got it. Three d three mortal wounds. Booy. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. That's seven. Six is to ignore him. You ignore one of them. Six mortal wounds. Ow. Uh, I don't really, mm, I guess I... You don't want to break up the unit. I don't want to free you up either. Because well, then they can charge and yeah. get him too, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to do that. Him, and then which one are you going to wound? Two wounds left on which one? <laughs> the side or that side, basically, is what you want to think about. Because you don't want to break coherency. No. And I guess it doesn't matter if he dies. Well, because then somebody else can... Well, I start in. to grab the objective at oh, that that's point. that's true. But this is the special guy, but whatever. Yeah. At which I don't point. think I was rolling for before. Is he, is he that different? Extra he, attack, no, whatever. Yeah, I think he has an extra attack. He's gonna charge. And eight inches. Uh, yeah, that's probably in, I'll double check. Bam! Well, it's probably no longer for this world, it's fine. Yeah. Now, beginning of the combat phase, he can target a unit within an inch and do the whole if he rolls higher than how many guys they have, but that's, it says equal to or higher. So if I roll a six, I'll double check what it does. Nah, it does something. It does like a, a one mortal wound, yeah. I think. Now I'm going to use his command ability. I've got two command points now, so I'm actually gonna do it on both sides. I'm gonna use his and the loon bosses. So no inspiring presence for me. Wait, yeah. no, I don't need to do the loon bosses. You've no, only got like yeah, six guys like left. Six guys left. I'm gonna hold on to a command yeah. point. I am gonna fight first with my Trog boss! Trog boss! Trog boss! <laughs> Burninating the village. <laughs> <sighs> oh, good memories. <laughs> okay, so first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna try to pick up that that crypt, ha that crypt horror right there, and just squish his brain. And so I just pick a model and I roll a die. If it's equal to or greater than their wounds characteristic, which is four, it just straight up dies. Don't squish. Oh, I did not squish him. All right, I guess I'll just hammer him to death <laughs> with my gigantic hammer. Got four attacks with this, threes to hit. Rerolling ones. Oh, come on, give me, a, when you give me a two. I still got three hits, all right, it's good, Matthew. It's all right, don't complain that you didn't get four out of four hits. It's just threes to wound, I know I'm gonna miss two of these. Threes, oh, I got two of them. Yeah. Oh, and one of them's a six. So that's one. It's plus one. one. So I, we just know it's an extra yeah. damage, we don't really plus care. One. They do D6 damage each. I don't have to track yeah. which one's a six, it's just a plus yeah, one. Matter, yeah. 
And I took the artifact or the command trait, one or the other, that lets me re... I think it's the command trait. Yeah, it's the command trait. It lets me re-roll the d6s, so I don't have to re-roll both of them as each attack is separate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one. Oh, 13 damage! <laughs> you can ignore them on sixes. If I see more than three stop, if I see more than three sixes, I'm gonna cry though. Come on, sixes. Three. Exactly three. Thank you. So <laughs> ten wounds. And the reason I would cry is because if you did more than three, you would not lose three guys. Yeah. Because ten wounds will kill three guys because one's already wounded. So one dies. Which other two would you like to death? It could be really. I don't know. It's clever. Kill right. the two in the middle because then you could just kill that one when one of them kill a model. And that lets you still fight me more? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, kill those so then when they go. Wait, I'm not sure if I. Oh, wait, that's true. If you kill these two. No, they're still within three inches. Everybody's still gonna be within three inches. Yeah. So you're not gonna be able to draw anybody out of combat. Well, actually, okay. that's not true. If you kill these yeah. two, you'll give me the objective, but these guys will be out of combat. If you kill these two. I think. No, they'll still be in because of this yeah. guy right here. Well, that's your choice then. Because huh. you can go next and do maximum damage to me. On those guys. Maybe, I don't know. No. That's what you want to do. Two more. Make your choice, Doug. Come on, Doug. Make your choice. Doug. Uh, Doug. Uh, Just admit it, the Kryptonters are going down. He's going to roll like six fives, though, and bring six to the back. I know. Before and they you die. can activate those three, and they can actually pile in towards those other rock guys. I don't think you can. Can you get all three of them in? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That one pile's in like. No, he's touching Just, both, so yeah. you can't go anywhere. But that means he could he could wrap around the other way. Oh yeah, he can go this way. And then you're you're good. All three of them on the rock gut? Yeah, all three of them on the rock gut. Nine attacks. Fours to hit. No rerolls. Pretty uh, good. A little off average. Threes to wound. Of course. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a one, that's so we got two wounds. Good. Five up save. Two damage each, so that's four damage. I could kill one if I fail all four five ups. Which I do not. Nice. Two wounds. Oh, wrong this guy. A lot of five up somehow. Yeah. Let's do my ghouls. We're gonna stay three inches away from your big guy. Yeah, we're good. Get those netters in there. I know you love the netters, so I'm gonna make sure the netters are my priority. So that he's gonna zip over here just so this netter can get there. Netter, go netter. And we'll keep just scooching these guys around. And the nets have starts the four netters, hitting on fours. Winning on threes, no more mortal wound things. I didn't use that command trait. So naturally I rerolled two sixes. But still, that's all right. You got six up, six up with uh, six guys left. So, you know, if you're over, no, okay. You have six up. Yeah, they're going to die. Oh, there I got one left. Yeah, so you have two left. You have two left. There's, oh, okay. there's six of them there. Oh. And the rest of my guys. Fifteen more attacks, hitting on fours. Twos to wound. Okay, you got to roll a lot of sixes <laughs> or a lot of sixes. Take a pick. Mm, oh, there's one. Well, there's one. It's not a lot yet. You gotta, we gotta roll a few more before it yeah, counts as a lot. And no. yeah, they're dead. So the other two die. Goodbye, sweet. All the crypt ghouls are gone. Only took me three turns. And then I got two more Trogoths to fight. Let's see if I can kill one more. Four attacks, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. There's my first one to reroll. Totally worth that command point. So we got four hits, threes to wound, sixes are extra damage. Okay. Uh, you don't get to save any of these. No. So that would be three. So this is 10 damage. <laughs> this is 10 damage. Six up to save them. No! So that's two and a half more dead. Oh! Ouchers! Yep. Uh, so I think this objective is mine. So right here, do you want to inspire in presence that one guy? You've got like two more command points. And it's the last thing I'm going to be able to do, so. Why not, right? Yeah. Right now, yeah. So I think I successfully wrested this objective from your hands. Yeah. Oh, sorry, from your ugly, decaying claws. <laughs> so that's a point. And these three Fellwater trolls have successfully grabbed this one. So that's a point. And I have one in the middle, so that's a point. That brings the score to four to four. <laughs> Turn four, does the moon move? Four, woo, it moves to the middle right here and it affects a, a quadrant that nobody cares about. <laughs> and now we roll off, you win ties. Oh, a double turn for me. Still want to play it out? No, I think uh, I think at this point we can definitely call it. <laughs> oh, this is not one of those cases where a double turn lost in the game. I think it was just more of a yeah, double turn would slowly. Double turns kept me in the game. That's the true. Game. Yeah, you get in the first double yeah. turn. 
and kept you in the game. It, the only way that it was even the last thing was just going to be some moral victories of charging my yeah, coach into some goblins. And, uh, yeah, these three guys would and yeah. just seeing. Oh, I, I don't think he's within three inches of anybody either, so he could have charged in the middle of the oh, yeah. No. Well, and then there it is. Be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, go, go. <laughs> yeah, because if you went next, you could have brought back theoretically up to six of your crypt haunt. Yeah, not, not on average off. two. You roll yeah, six dice each two. five plus brings you back one. Well, yeah, like I said, it wasn't. They weren't gonna. They actually went down really fast in that one turn. The whole point of once the big of, guy of bringing there. nine of them. Yeah, is that hopefully that doesn't happen. And because I put this guy, the other guy, a little bit too exposed. If I still had both of them, then it'd be worth rolling. Yeah, because you could bring back yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. You already did bring back a lot, a lot. of them. And you would have brought, brought back two. only because I hadn't killed hardly any yet. Sure. You rolled enough dice yeah. to bring back five yeah. in that one turn. Which would have been enough that I maybe could have pushed them over onto the objective and kept it. Yeah. Over yeah. there, it would have been hard. Yeah, I think, yeah, where you, yeah, now that I look back and how close the game was despite your blunder at the beginning, yeah. it makes me wonder how hard it would have been for me. Yeah, if, if, you I, had, if I had turtled up and waited and just waited for you, which would have been the better thing to do. I or at least kind of done what you just did here. I got overzealous. Like, that charge I did want to make, but that charge was a bad, bad idea. Yeah, yeah the one on the one side the against one the Fellwater right, yeah. Trolls. That but, wasn't bad. But yeah, I wanted that to happen. but And it didn't turn out great. No, because they murdered the, yeah. them by themselves pretty much yeah. after but that. But those were the last ones that, uh, that you had to speed bump through, though. Yeah. They lasted all the way to the, the very to, end. To the bitter end until they... All got put under nets and stabbed repeatedly. Yeah. Oh, what a what an end! <laughs> Just on, under barbed nets. That's, They're barbed nets. Yeah, exactly. That's why they do three attacks. That makes but no, sense. You know, um, definitely learned my early AOS lesson of don't always charge things into things. It's hard for me to say exactly how good the Trogoths are. The, like they, they look cool on paper. The Rock Guth only having two attacks each. Now, they're only 160 points, so I can't really complain. Because when those attacks get through... They're big. Like Oh, yeah. Like I said, these, these guys are also 160 for three. And they have a, a worse attack profile, but you but can, they can come bring back. them back. Yeah, I think that's the difference. So, is that You see armies like Flesh Eater Courts pay for the potential yeah. of bringing guys back. Because you see how many ghouls you brought in for free. Yeah. Oh, no, mind you, you paid 180 yeah. points for that. I don't think I got my 180 points worth of ghouls. Not worth of the ghouls, because you, yeah, you kept rolling below yeah, four. Yeah, I think, I think I got, like, just 11, maybe, back at the end of it all. It was, like, three, one, two, one, three. I I'd never rolled over So that, was, that yeah. was 10. You got 13 back. Yeah. At least. And there might have been which an extra roll, I'm forgetting. 100 points, pretty yeah. much. But then, you remember, you also get the extra command point, which you didn't use. And the extra <laughs> artifact, which didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, um, which did. <laughs> but you also got the drop, which let you go first, which... No, you made me go first. So maybe, I don't know if that makes a difference. I would have made you go first. Maybe that would have made a difference. Yeah. Maybe it would have lost me the game. I don't know. Yeah, I don't it's think... It's a I parallel think, universe where dice I, rolled differently and decisions were different as well. I think it actually might have been better for me if I had gone first, because then I wouldn't have been tempted to charge. I would have just been like, well, I'm just going to sit here and wait for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Although then my positioning, I could have grabbed objectives early yeah. enough, and then you would have been in the same problem. Because if I got one teleport off, boom, I'm on an objective. Yeah. And that could be a problem for you. So, but... Um, I was really sad about that inspiring presence over here, though. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I just really wanted him to stick around. Or and the, and the you them. know, looking back, it wouldn't yeah. have mattered. Even oh, if you got six more well. guys on yeah. it, when those those rockets, Trogus, that one turn of really good regen. Yeah. I and my bad moon didn't even come into play, no, so I didn't even get better regens. I didn't get any of the benefits of the bad moon. My whole allegiance ability did not come into play no. once, in the in the entire game. So that was disappointing. Uh, the moon shrine helped me one turn. It didn't bring back anything, and I was never close enough to it after that to get the reroll battle shock or the, the auto pass battle shock. Um, so it really just came down to that blundered charge, followed by the fact that the Trogoths hit like a ton of bricks, mm -hmm. and those grots were able to hold down and pin down your one line. Yeah. I really am looking forward to doing an all moon clan battle report because with the new mm -hmm. named character, Loon Boss King, he's awesome. Combine that with uh, the fanatics, uh, maybe squigs, but I'm talking like I'm not necessarily huge, tons know. of huge blobs of grots, but it's more squigs like squigs are fun though. Yeah, a couple blobs of grots who will be buffed. That'll be interesting to see. Did the squig riders get any better? Uh, slightly. I think they move a little faster unless they move 3d6 before. And when they, if they, they can fly now, they have fly because they're so bouncy. 
<laughs> and when they jump over a unit, they can do mortal wounds to it. Oh, okay. But you gotta actually like get close enough to move over it. Yeah. So maybe more in a retreat kind of thing, like you charge in if somehow you survived because you're six up save and bravery four. Yeah. Um, then you can jump over and do some mortal wounds. <laughs> So no, <laughs> not particularly, I but maybe maybe some of the War Scroll Battalions will find yeah. some use there. I still want to play with them, because yeah. they're so fun, they're so cool looking. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you, Doug, thank for the you. game. Of course. And uh, everybody else, go ahead and check out the battle report in the vault, which is me playing Iron Jaws against, uh, it was a 2v1, actually. I believe it was it was Legions of Nagash and Flesh Eater Cords. Oh. It, was, it was a couple weeks back, or a few weeks back, so I don't remember exactly it. But it's all there in the vault, so go check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.